Looks great on camera, too. Um, he arrives on a scooter every day for class. There's a scooter. He scooters his way here. Um, let's back up and look at this one. Tell us about this one. Um, this one, I really like the hard lines of the bamboo. Also, I wanted to keep this really organic. I felt like I needed to film the space. Uh -huh. um, and just played with some organic and natural elements. I usually let the flowers design themselves. Yes, flowers tell you where to put them. At least part of the, part of the time. Um, it's a <laughs> Japanese-based design. Nice and clean. This is called negative space in here, where he has nothing. Really good. Moving over here. Tell us about this one, this beauty. Um, it involves cluster. What is this called? Um, cascading. Yes, or movement. Cascading movement. And what is this called? I'm giving him a quiz right now. <laughs> Mask. Masking. Veiling. Veil, veil. <laughs> yes, semi veil. Anyway, it's got cluster and zone, movement and veiling, all in a very contemporary design. Um, anything hard during school that you found difficult um, to do? The, the Bring first, that bouquet up here again. Indian the, summer, the it's so pretty. The first hard part was just saying when to stop. You don't want to have to over design something. And if it feels right the first time, it probably is right. It might be a little bit tweaking, but. And where, where do you want to do flowers? For all 